wow, you just never know what you're going to see. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to throw this in there. Uh, just so you know, this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than the uh, other ones. I'll see as I, as I get it edited, what it looks like. Um, but I do have some real-time mowing footage, and I'm going to leave some of that in without speeding it up or anything. I know I've gotten some feedback from some of you, and you like to hear the engine run, and you like to see it in real time. So when you come to that block of that, I've, I've got some good conversation, I think, in the midst of all of that. If you don't want to see the mowing, just scroll past it and get back to where you see me looking at the camera talking. And uh, Or if you just like the mowing, just watch that and don't listen to me talk. Whatever you want to do or watch all of it. Anyway... I just want to kind of put that little disclaimer out there. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Got the hustlers loaded up back there. I only need one of them. Um, I'm going to run out and try to cut a yard real quick. Actually, I'm going to try to cut two, two small ones. Uh, I got one large one, but not even going to mess with it today i just i don't know what the weather is going to do um well i don't think i'm going to i don't know i'll see let me get these knocked out see how i feel uh it's wednesday and i absolutely despise doing anything that uh well doing this kind of stuff on wednesday really work getting nasty and dirty i'll have to go back home take a shower get ready for church tonight um so what I've been doing because of the rain, uh, I just spent more time in the office, um, you know, getting sermons ready and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, but normally Wednesday is a huge day for me, uh, finalizing everything. And uh, and I'm getting pretty close on everything. I usually go back over, usually try to finalize on Wednesday, and uh, you know. <laughs> use uh <coughs> goodness use uh it's not the corona i hope use uh you know thursday tidy up any loose ends or whatever uh so usually monday tuesday and wednesday i hit it pretty hard in the office um right now it's a little bit more relaxed uh because i'm only doing a sunday morning and a wednesday night uh, message uh, whereas typically i would be doing sunday morning sunday night wednesday night and so anyway um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go out. I got one that, uh, I believe it's been 16 days since I've been on it. Um, so now sometimes this, uh, customer, uh, they have a lawnmower and sometimes they will cut over the front because it's got a lot of bahia in it. Um. You know, and I normally come every two weeks. Sometimes the week in between, they'll cut the front anyway. So I'm not sure if they've done anything or not with all the rain that's going on, but I definitely want to get over there and uh, and take care of that. And uh, then I got another one that I definitely uh, need to get took care of today if I can. And uh, there's a there's a there's something, I don't have time to explain it right now because uh, here's, I'm about to be up here at this property in just a minute. But I'll just, I'll say this after we get done, I'll tell you about it uh, after I get done with this property. But it's, it's one of those deals where I feel obligated that I need to go get this one done. Um, I got a deal going on there that I don't really like. And uh, not just since I don't like, it's just not the way I operate. I guess so anyway but let me get up here and get this done and uh, and then I'll check back with you in a minute
right, that's a wrap on this one. Done. Get uh, loaded back up in the truck here, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what I was talking about earlier um, about the deal where I was doing something in a way that I just don't, uh, I just don't operate. So you get this water out, get the stuff off, jump in the truck, and uh, I'll share that with you. Hey, real quick while it's on my mind before I share with you this other story y'all go out y'all go over uh, if you're watching this channel you like lawn and landscape y'all go over and check out my boy Drew Haddon New Beginnings Landscaping he's in South Carolina uh, Drew's a great guy and he's trying to get his channel going um, you know and uh, and he just, uh, I don't know how much they're going to do this, but I think it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of husband and wife duos uh, in the lawn care industry. That's becoming more and more common. And uh, Drew's wife, Kimmy, uh, he actually just put up a video uh, today, which is Wednesday. I'm not sure. This probably won't go up till tomorrow. But he put up a video uh, of him and his wife uh, going out and uh, knocking out some yards. I don't know when it was. But anyway, uh, the video went up today. And so I'm excited to see, uh, you know, how they do. So go over there and check him out. It's uh, Drew Hadwin, H-A-D-W-I-N, Drew Hadwin, uh, New Beginnings Landscaping. New Beginnings Landscaping. Uh, it's in South Carolina. Uh, he'll have a little logo with an N and a B on it with like a little bean or something growing out of the top of it. But y'all go check him out. Uh, at least look at one of his videos and... Uh, subscribe to him help, help a brother out uh, anyway so this is what I'm gonna tell you the property I'm headed to now um, I was riding by the other day and the guy was on the front porch and you know I just hollered at him he said hey 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 you know he kind of motioned me to slow down stop or whatever and uh, and I did and he come out and uh, he said hey man let me go ahead and pay you real quick uh, you know for this service now this is probably not a big deal to anybody else. I just absolutely, uh, I just put it this way. I prefer not to get paid until the service is done. I mean, that's just how I, I am. Uh, you know, and it was only a week ago. And, and so here's what happens. I'm supposed to service that yard on Monday or Tuesday, uh, which I usually cut Monday or Tuesday afternoon. And I do about, you know, three to four yards. Um, try to do them in one day and just be done with it so I don't have to cut two afternoons. Well, the way the weather's been this week, um, Monday I didn't get to cut at all. Yesterday I only got to get one. Um, and I had, and, and what I did is made the decision to go to the one I thought would grow the most, you know, uh, and knock it down. So, so now he's paid me for something. Uh, that I would normally do on Monday, and here it is. I'm fixing to go take care of today. It's one of the reasons I'm out today doing this. Uh, now I know it's not a problem with him. Uh, I, I don't think he thinks, oh, he's, he's got my money, he's not gonna come, but I just don't like getting money up front. Now, if you do a card on file and I go service the property and then I hit, you know, pay at the end, uh, but I'm gonna be honest, what I like, I like a customer to come home, see their line, and then go in, click on their invoice, and pay me. Uh, or put me a check in the mail. I don't really care uh, how you get it to me as long as you get it to me, right? But I just don't like getting my money up front. And I got a couple of customers that, you know, they that's the way they pay. Uh, I got one property, some, you know, people live out of town in particular. Uh, they'll send money for the whole month or whatever. And uh, before I've even invoiced them. And, and not only that, it messes up my invoicing software because if I deposit the check, I got money showing up in there that's not attached to anything, and then I got to remember when the invoice comes up to attach it to it and all that. So you know, uh, but anyway, I, I, I just don't normally do that. But uh, or, or well, you don't turn money down. Um, I had a customer at the beginning of the season want to pay me for the entire year. Um, you know, several thousand dollars up front, and I was like, uh, no. I'm not going to do that, and uh, you know, and 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 they understood, and I, and I just told them, I said, look, I'm a one-man operation. Um, you know, if I get that money, and you know, I get run over by a semi, 
you know, I'm not going to be doing your lawn and you done spent money for a whole year, you know. So, uh, I just, I just, uh, couldn't bring myself to do that. You know, just, I don't know. I just didn't think it was a good idea. So, anyway, uh, enough of that. I, I just want to share that with you. I don't know. What do you think? Do you, you get, I know some people get paid in advance and they won't cut unless they get the money up front. I don't know. For me, it's just, uh, I guess if I had trouble getting money from customers and people didn't want to pay and this, that, and other, I might have a different perspective on it. But, uh, you know, I live in an area that is uh, very much rural America. It very much still has that uh, that idea that a man or a woman is only as good as their word. Uh, I think I think that most people around here uh, take serious. Uh, now it's not that you won't run across people who won't pay you. I'm not saying that, but the majority of the people they take pride in knowing that they meet their commitments and their obligations and it's a testimony to you know them and their integrity and character and all that uh, at least the people that I've been working for and uh, so you know I, I just don't worry about it I mean my policy is simple I cut it uh, if you don't pay I don't come back you know and if you get me for one cut I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start keep sending you late notices and calling and harassing you you know, I mean, if it was a thousand dollar job, I would probably, but you know, not over a sixty dollar line. I'm just not going to do it. So, anyway, uh, let me get over here and get this property knocked out. I'll probably set you up, get you a little bit of footage of that, and uh, then that's probably going to be it. I'll probably go back to the house, get cleaned up. It's looking nasty out. Uh, see those dark clouds? I'll probably go home, get cleaned up, go back to the office, and uh, you know, just work on some stuff there, finalize some stuff for Sunday and um, and all that kind of good stuff and get ready for tonight so you know my final preparations but uh, anyway I'll get you some footage down here too
So I just pulled up to this customer's property and got out string trimming. And there was a, a bug light right here laying on the ground. Now, last time it was here, it had an extension cord running over there, and I got all of it up, you know, unhooked it, rolled it up so it wouldn't get in my way when I cut. I said, man, the wind blew it down. And then I saw this. That's got to be the heaviest bug light I've ever seen. No, seriously. Look at this. Look at this. Got some good pine boards out here in the yard. I tell you, you know, of course, I've been talking about all the rain and stuff we've had. Uh, lightning. Lightning got it. Hit this tree. Uh, he had it secured with a metal uh, hook. And he says he's looked all over. He hasn't been able to find it. It's probably somewhere in this deep grass. And uh, I'm hoping it's down enough where I don't find it either. But, uh, yeah, man, that's crazy. Said he was in the bed and heard it. Said the whole bed shook when it hit. And he said, I knew it was close, but I didn't realize it was in my yard. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to set you up and get you, uh, get you some footage. I actually see something I forgot to trim. But anyway, I'll set you up and get you some footage. And uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, that is looking dark, 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 dark. But... It is finished. Look here. Ah. Raptor looks nice and clean. He's just been riding in the rain. He hasn't been working. Done. Hey, show you something about great customers. Customer brought this out to me before he left. Yup. Like I was saying earlier, when you start talking about the kind of customers that you have, you know, Kind of goes back to what I was saying about uh, that. So, anyway, I'm gonna get home. I'm only, I don't know if y'all can see it from here. Probably not unless you're on a computer, but way up there, it's a church. So, I'm actually just down behind the house. <clears throat> um, so, let me get back up there. I, I cut my yard before I left. Um, I refuse to be, and I know you know different things, guys doing this full time for a living. I understand things a little bit different. Uh, and you know, I keep saying that. That's that's not that's not that's not a you know. I mean, that's not saying something bad. And you do this for a living. Great, great, great. Especially if this is uh, especially if this is what you love doing. Uh, but I keep my grass cut. Uh, there are some people I see that do lawn care locally. And, you know, they go out and cut grass and this, that, and, you know, and do a good job. But the only reason, you know, they're in lawn care is because you see the trailer part in their yard. You understand what I'm saying? The yard, I keep my yard cut. And again, I, I realize there may be a little bit of difference. Uh, you know, my situation might be a little bit different from other people. So, uh, I don't know. I just like to keep my yard looking good. And so I cut mine before I come out and cut these today. Um, and you might, you might, I mean, that may look like mixed up priorities to you. But in all honesty, if it wasn't but one yard getting cut today, I was cutting mine. But I didn't string trim it. Uh, so I'm gonna run back and run the trimmer around it. It wasn't bad or anything, but I'm already nasty and dirty. Gotta take a shower before I go back to the church. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the trimmer around that and uh, and get it tidied up. I did not get my backyard and, and there's a reason for that, but maybe I'll do a video on my backyard and, and I'll, uh, I'll explain to you. Uh, other than the fact you can't see it, I'll explain to you why it wasn't cut. Uh, I got a little issue there, so anyway, uh appreciate you watching and uh if you uh you know like the video uh hope you'll click the like button hope you subscribe uh i hope that you will uh, click the little bell notifications at least get notifications when a new video comes out 
uh, even if you decide not to watch it. So uh, my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from Him.